Oh, that pansy one is not as dark as I would like. I'm Kay Hurst of the Rowan Museum, and today we're going to dye some eggs using natural dyes the old-fashioned way, the way citizens here in Rowan County would have done it back in the 18th century, back in the 1700s. Yes, they celebrated Easter. They could have used white eggs or brown eggs. It depended upon the kind of poultry that they had. Today we're using white eggs and very natural dyes. We're using flower petals, onion skins, poke berries, uh, all kinds of natural items in which, from which um, the settlers could leach the dye. One of the dyes that I'm going to use today, I've actually made using purple flowers, using grape hyacinths, muscari, and also purple pansies. And I place them in a jar with boiling water and have leached the dye out of them. Pour the leached water, all it is is water, from the petals. You see a real pretty purple and we're going to very carefully place the egg down in the jar. And you can sort of see the color there. It doesn't happen within just a few minutes. We have to leave it in there in order for the egg to be dyed. This is not an exact science. Um, Sometimes the, the color comes out very true to, to the color of the flower, and sometimes it changes. Now, a very easy dye to make, and one that was very colorful, is made from onion skins. The settlers grew lots of root crops. They grew beets and onions, and we're going to use both of those vegetables today to dye Easter eggs. And it makes a beautiful golden color. See, you can already see the dye taking to the, e the egg taking to the dye. Now, one of my very favorite colors are the beets and the poke berries. Now, poke berries, you might be thinking, hmm, poke salad? Yes, indeed. The same weed that grows all over the South that has big sprays of green berries in the summertime that turn to dark reddish purple berries that as children we love to play with and throw at each other. See the color on there sort of. Now sometimes with these natural dyes, you actually have to leave them in the water for several hours. It's not the instant dye that we have today, uh, but you have to leave it sitting in the water for several hours quite often. And they would save their dyes. I've saved these dyes. Some of them are a year old. Uh, they get thicker, they get stronger, as some of the water evaporates out of them. The other thing that folks used dye for was to dye their fibers, the wool um, or the flax, the linen that they would weave. Uh, and they dyed it before they wove it, although you can dye a garment after you weave it. <laughs> 